Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Telegram bots, how people use them, how I personally use them, what they are, how you can use them, etc. So before I just um, get started, just a disclaimer like usual, nothing is financial advice in my video. So first of all, what are Telegram bots? So they're basically bots that allow you to buy and sell tokens. Usually, typically people use it to buy new coins or new listings so they call it sni sniping launches or sniping tokens so um there's there's a lot of bots out there there's a this is a coin gecko article you can read it about the different bots etc um also the other thing you can do is copy trade so if you know a wallet that's buying tokens very early and very successful trader you can put his wallet in and basically get the bot to copy his trades so every time he buys a token he'll buy that token and you can set how much you want to buy etc and same with the sell etc so there's a lot of different um different bots out there um personally i like a maestro and banana gun bot so um actually the other thing i want to mention just before i get, in, get started guys these are extremely risky these bots have been hacked as well so first of all obviously do your due diligence before you even get started and secondly uh, use a burner wallet only use the like use a fresh wallet where it's not connected to your other stuff or you don't have any tokens in them. Um, Maestro bought themselves, even though they refunded everybody, I believe they got hacked. And also another project, another bot, big bot called Unibot being hacked as well. I think they reimbursed everyone as well. But long story short, make sure you use a burner wallet, take all the uh, safety precautions as you should do. Anyway, so uh, Maestro and Banana Bot, what are the differences? They're pretty much the same. The main difference I've realized is Maestro supports a few different chains. They support Arbitrum and also bsc along with eth i don't know what srg is and banana as far as i know they're more newer um i, I believe on certain things they're a bit faster uh banana than bot just supports eth and the other thing you want to know guys is the 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 fee they charge a one percent fee on buying and selling and uh make sure you stay till the end of this video because i'm going to show you actually on my board well um, i'm actually going to show you uh, me buying a token so you guys can see how it looks like and uh, i'm going to show you how to set up a wallet etc so that's um, Maestro bot. This is a Banana Gun bot. Um, this is their website, bananagun.io and Maestro bots with the S. Okay, you can also go on their Twitter. I'll make sure you've got the official link, etc. I'll I'll put the links in the description. Okay, so now that you've got it, right? So yeah, so what you want to do is when you're on a Maestro website, you want to click on a Maestro bot, okay? You click on Maestro bot, go to open in Telegram and you'll see something like this, okay? So what I would do, this is a friend's account. I've just, because he hasn't set it up. So I thought I'd just do it on his account um, because I don't want to sh share my seed phrase with etc. when I create a wallet. Okay, so when you access the bot, it's going to tell you to join a few channels, okay? So once you join the channels, even though this one, the the um, the instructions are a bit unclear, but long story short, even though this one will have an X, just click on this sniper link and you'll be able to access the, the wallet, okay? So now um, it will say something like this, okay? So what the first thing you want to do is basically set up your wallet, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how, how to set up a wallet and the settings that you need to put. This is just the settings that I found that are quite good and from people that I look up to that I've used these things, what settings they use, okay? So wallet, go into wallet and now it's going to say what network do you want the wallet on? So you're going to click Ethereum and then click on generate wallet, okay? So now obviously I'm not going to use this wallet guys, I'm going to delete it. But basically, it's going to give you a private key and a mnemonic phase, okay? Make sure you copy and paste it somewhere safe, okay? Um, because if you lose that, you're going to lose your wallet as well, okay? So now that you've um, got a wallet, what you want to do is put the settings of this wallet, okay? So this wallet is going to have settings. So go into config. I've actually listed all of this down. I'm going to put it in the description so it's a bit easier for you. But just to show you in the, in the wallet what you want to do, okay? So first you want to go into config, turn on anti-rug and anti-mev, okay? Then you also, then you want to go into the buy settings and auto buy, you want to turn that on. So auto buy basically is when some, if you're copy trading somebody else and they buy, this is the setting that you would need to have turned on if you wanted to auto buy basically, okay? So that's uh, auto buy, then uh, buy ta uh, max buy tax, you want it on 10, okay? So max uh, buy tax, you just put 10 here. And then the last one is gas delta, you want it to on three. Put that on three. That's it. Now you go back, return, go to sell. And on the sell, you want to do auto sell on. 
so auto sell on and then uh, gas delta three I hit three here and also uh, delete um sell high and low okay sell high and sell low you just want to delete them okay that's the settings and then lastly go back go to approve and you want to have this auto approve on okay so this basically means you know when on Uniswap or any of these uh, dexes whenever you're trading like an erc token you need to first approve the token then you need to swap it obviously that takes time so if you're trying to buy a new token on launch etc you don't want to have to do that so this one will auto approve it okay so make sure this is checked okay then that are basically the options okay next i'm just going to switch to my my actual maestro bot and i'm going to show you and so basically what i've done in uh, banana bot what i've done is i've just basically imported this wallet because you can import wallet in and then in banana bot i've just imported this wallet so i don't need you know different wallets or different bots etc so next i'm going to just show you guys how i actually buy a token once so obviously what you want to do now is this address this is your ethereum address guys okay so obviously this is not going to have any funds inside it so what you want to do is send some funds to it so however much ETH, etc you want to send to this okay guys so i'm just going to show you right now how you can actually buy a token with these bots okay so any token that launches any new launch etc everything will have a contract address okay so here you can see on CoinGecko, and obviously if it's not listed on CoinGecko or Coin Market Cap, you can just usually ask the team. Usually on launch, they'll tell you what the token contract is, or a few hours before. So all you need to do is get the copy the contract address, and then go into your bot and then paste the contract address. Okay, so I'm pasting the contract address now. This is uh, Floki's new token. Okay, new ROA token. Anyway, so now I've put the contract address and it says what do you want to do with that contract. So I'm gonna if I want any of these ETH, I can say or buy x eth so this means i can put exactly how much eth i want to put into this token okay x me x as in however much you want uh, variable okay so i want 0 0.01 eth worth of this token so i'm going to click enter so now you can see the transaction go through okay so let's click on that so even the bot is, is saying right now it's pending that transaction okay so rather than doing this manually on a on a on unisop etc the bot will do it much faster guys okay so this is what all the guys are basically using to snipe new launches etc and obviously the transaction so new is basically not showing up here so let's uh, looks like the boy is saying it's succeeded as well okay so probably hasn't been um you know fully on the blockchain so it's not showing up but it definitely looks like i received the token because this one is saying succeeded and just before this i done a test one and that one also succeeded yeah so as you can see now it's done this is the time so it looks like just done it now okay so this is the wallet i done it at ether scan the slow on my internet yeah so as you can see this is the test one i done earlier and it went through and then i done it again but yeah as you can see it has gone through the the, the transaction is confirmed i don't know why it's not showing yeah now it's showing okay guys so that's basically how you do it um as you can see it was very fast it's more faster than a human i don't know why maybe it's a bit down now ether scan that's why it's taking long but as you can see that has gone through that transaction has gone through and I have received the token in that wallet okay so hope you got some value from this and the sell is basically the similar thing you just put the contract address and hit sell etc so that's that's uh fine anyway guys hope you got some value from this video and i'll see you on the next one